My favorite line of all time in the history of cinema is... Gosh, that is a tricky one. Such a hard question. How do you pick one, right? My favorite line from a film is, we're gonna need a bigger boat. In Jaws, it does get more iconic than that. Make him an offer, can't refuse. The Godfather. So this one goes to 11 in Spinal Tap because I love being able to lose my mind at the movies. That line just cracked me up. These are not the droids you're looking for. It very simply tells us that reality is something that we create. From Superman to General Zod, it's Terrence Stamp. He says, I win, I always win, in the most amazing way. Houston, we have a problem. It's a, it's a classic line, yet it's an historical line. Of all the gin joints in all the towns and all the world, she walks in the mind. Rick in Casablanca. Because it's really about life. Life's about coincidences and irony. My favorite line from a film is Rosebud. Susan Cain, as just a kid, I thought, how can someone make a film that great? Field of Dreams, when Kevin Costner at the end says, you know, dead line of catch. It was a movie I watched often as a young aspiring designer. Goddard's Contempt. She says, so you love me totally. And then he says, I love you totally, tenderly, and tragically. When the legend becomes fact, print the legend. The man who shall liberty balance. It's a line that sort of has defined my career. He says, happy birthday, Samantha, make a wish. And she says, it already came true. The feeling from being a teenager and watching that was just phenomenal. I, I worship John Hughes. Better off dead. The main character is learning how to ski, and his friend says, go that way really fast. If something gets in your way, turn. I've always loved that line. Richard Dreyfuss in Neil Simon's The Goodbye Girl when he says, and I don't like the panties hanging on the rod. Better get used to these bars, kid. In that moment, every time that I hit it, it's like the laces come tight on that whole movie, and it's incredible. I don't count the music. I feel the music from the turning point. I think that was a big thing as an artist. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her from Notting Hill. That's the moment when, like, the two characters that you want to end up together just are completely vulnerable with one another. The opening scene of the film, A Matter of Life and Death, there are great lines like she says, uh, I could love a man like you, Peter. It's from Dark to Afternoon. Sonny asks him, where do you want to go after this? Like, we could go anywhere in the world. What country would you want to visit? And John Cazale says, Wyoming. <laughs> And it just says so much about his character. And Grey Gardens. Big Edy says, it's very hard to live nowadays. Living is very hard. Great documentaries kind of give light into how living is hard for so many different people, but then also, you know, what the joys and triumphs are. From True Lies, what kind of a sick bitch takes the ice cube trays out of the freezer? Because I was going through a divorce at the time, and I came into work and I told Jim Cameron that my wife had taken the ice cube trays out of the freezer. And he's like, you're gonna say that in this next scene. In Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey's character is told towards the end of the film that the girl he's after has, you know, a husband or something, and there's like, you know, almost no chance, and he goes, uh, so you're telling me there's a chance. It's a good line.